For this week's gotcha, I want to once more address the scourge of white supremacy, racism, and hate in this country, and in particular, those who carry out violent acts accordingly. Just this week, a Georgia jury delivered some measure of accountability to the three white men who chased down and murdered Ahmaud Aubrey, a black man just out for a job. The fact that the trial almost didn't happen at all speaks volumes about the entrenchment of discrimination in our justice system, considering there was a video of the crime. But when the criminal justice system fails to deliver justice in crimes of hate, sometimes the civil system can provide some accountability, like in the case of the organizers of the racist violence in Charlottesville, Virginia, in 2017. This week, the jury in that case awarded the plaintiffs $25 million to be paid by the white supremacist and white supremacist organizations behind the so-called Unite the Right event, a penalty that should bankrupt those individuals and hinder them from spreading their hateful lies. That verdict should be seen as a warning to others who organize and carry out violent terrorist acts under the banner of white grievance and racism. Like, for instance, those insurrectionists who stormed the United States Capitol on January 6th. Because in addition to the official investigation being carried out by the January 6th committee that could lead to criminal charges for some of the people and organizations on this subpoena list, there are multiple civil suits pending in the matter, with defendants ranging from the uh, sordid white nationalist organizations up to the disgraced former President Donald Trump. Capitol Police officers, the NAACP, and even members of Congress are suing to hold these perpetrators civilly accountable, and the damages could rack up into millions. So to those who ascribe to the ugly principles of racism and white supremacy, your days are numbered. Despite the harrowing racial history of this country, you can no longer carry out racist violence or plan coup d'etats because you're angry that voters of color cast our ballots in the most secure election in American history. Because even if the criminal justice system is slow to act, and sometimes stumbles, civil justice can still bankrupt you, and the court of public opinion will tarnish your name in perpetuity. I got you.